Rogers quick to see the potential here for Marlon Harewood. Steve Brown trying to keep him at bay. Harewood's crossing for Stan John! The clearest chance of the game so far. Touched off here for Johnson! Andy Johnson letting rip. Now Robinson for Charlton, needs a good cross. Stewart coming in at the back post, it's broken for Graham Stewart. Saved by the legs of Dave Besson. Charlton getting ever closer. Kinsella short for Graham Stewart. Forrest left him acres of space there. Here's Steve Brown. Oh, straight through the middle, Andy Holt! He just cannot stop scoring! And that is the moment that the 5,000 Charlton fans have been waiting for. 24 goals this season, a deft little touch and a vital goal. Schimmicker allowed to come forward. Pratton getting in behind Powell. Pratton's cross. Howard can't climb tall enough. The ball's still alive with Rogers, and the danger cleared. Rogers leaves it for Bart Williams. Calderwood. Leicester saved by the legs of Curley. What a brilliant stop. Well, Carly won't have known too much about that. Hunt. Poor challenge from Colin Calderwood. And a yellow card. Nasty challenge from behind. Stewart helping it on, Terry away. This time it's Hunt! A second goal might have been enough. Stolen back here by Charlton. Top scorers away from home in the entire league. Oh, that's another reckless one from Calderwood, who's already been booked. He's surely off. It's a second yellow card for Colin Calderwood. That means red, and Nottingham Forest are down to ten men. Stewart's cross. And Robinson, Newton can't quite get there. Terry away. Heart-stopping moments. Now Robinson. Robinson going for the curler. Besson flying to save. Brennan, dangerous run by the fullback, gets the return from Rogers, blocked by Burnis, penalties given! The ten men of Nottingham Forest have a penalty! Burnis the culprit, but Williams to take it. It's 1-1! With less than ten minutes to go, Forest a level, and Charlton might just have to keep on waiting. Jig of delight from Bartman. The pressure is tremendous right now, the tension almost unbearable. Stewart, now was that a handball? Appeals, now Perker. Oh, and denied once again. Back to Robinson. This has been some emotional roller coaster. I was quite okay about it, you know, the players are very disappointed because, you know, I think on the face of it, we played very well for 60 minutes. Um, then the sending off, and uh, it changed it a little bit. And I think the crowd got behind Forrest, and you know, one or two of their players, you know, had to take a gamble, which they did, and we just couldn't kill them off. You know, and we had a couple of chances to make it two and didn't take it. 
We think the penalty, penalty was a little bit harsh. Obviously, we haven't seen it, but uh, nevertheless, they got the penalty. And yeah, I mean, people will look at that and go, "We've played ten men and for little, you know, for most of the second half or whatever, and uh, we haven't gone on and won it and gone into the Premiership." But we've got another five chances to do it, and we just have to keep going. They can do it live on Sky Sports. They need three points. Huddersfield Friday. They they've had a great season, haven't they? They have had a great season. It won't be easy against Huddersfield. No. Huddersfield fighting for their lives. But they deserve they're everything inching they get. there, aren't they? Yeah. Kind of they're, yeah. Well, they're there anyway. Yeah. I mean, that's not a problem. It's just a matter of time as and when they do it. But they deserve all the credit. Kirbishly organised his team superbly well. Yeah. No stars in there. Kinsella's, Kinsella's a great player. You know, don't get me wrong when I say no stars. Yeah. It's the, because of the way they play. They've got mm. no individuals. It's all as well. a, it's always team. Dean Kiley. Yeah, the keepers. That was his main um, buy at the end of last season, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Go and get an, another goalkeeper. Yeah. Um, Sasser Illich had a great season for them before the Premiership, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And then uh, occasionally let them down and I think he thought, well, right, I need someone who's dependable and went and got Kylie. Uh, have you seen much of Charlton? Yeah, I've seen him a couple of times this year. I've uh, been down to visit me mate, uh, Graham Stewart, Graham Stewart down course, there. Yeah. And I've gate gate crashed a few of the sessions down at the training ground. It's not only is uh, the team doing well, but the setup there is excellent as well. Nice little training ground. Everybody uh, he respects Alan Kirbishley, you know, he seems a nice genuine bloke and uh, he's got Mervyn Day down there as well and uh, and they are ticking over nicely and mm. what they are, as you just said, rightly said there, they are well organised and a couple of times I've seen them, uh, they haven't been able to kill teams off, it's yeah. been 1-0 towards, you know, half time and then when anybody's had a bit of pressure, I've seen the Fulham game and uh, they brought uh, Carl Tyler on. You yeah. know, experienced player. Played the three centre halves with Rufus and Brown, who's having you know absolute storming season, mm. and um, and you know just killed teams off like that. Bradford came up this time and have have struggled. Um, can you see Charlton having gone up? What two years ago? You have well, lost me track. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Will they do better this time? Do you think? Um, well, the, the, you from would, the experience you would, point of view, you would think that the you know with the experience mm. and hindsight and everything like that as long as they've got a ridiculous uh, pot to, <laughs> to, to delve into. You yeah. need to spend, I think you need to spend at least in the region of eight to ten million. Honestly. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, Charlton yeah. need to do that. Survive. To survive, yeah. just to survive, yeah. Mm. I, think uh, Pete, I think Peter Reid would argue with that then, wouldn't he? Because he's not done that, has he? Yeah, but wouldn't, wouldn't you say, Chris, that um, Peter Reid, out of the teams that came up, you know, he had uh, players who'd played I in was the gonna say, as well. He in had a, of all of them, he had Quinn. people in place, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he had some outstanding. I mean, they, they were head and shoulders above everybody in the first division. And also the thing mm -hmm. about them, they, they rather like Charlton. It, it, maybe this is the, the, the trend. They went up, came down, regrouped, and were better for the experience and then survived. I mean, maybe it'll happen to... I, I'm not going to even mention whether it'll happen to Bradford, but, you know, it might happen to Charlton... Second time around, if I you think like. Kirby will have an idea. Kirby will have an idea now of the players that he needs to make sure that they stay up next season. They're also very organised behind the scenes, aren't they? They are indeed. Yeah, concerned. he would. He would. He'll look at Kinsella. He'll look at Rufus. He knows his goalkeeper's good enough. There's three, you know. So he's got a backbone already of this side. Robinson's a very, very talented player. Newton could still play Premiership. So it's not. It's not that far away from no. Sutherland. It's not as good as yeah. Sutherland's side, but it's not that far nice away. Nice little touch. They're not. They're not. Um, putting the season tickets up for next season even though they're back in the Premiership. Is that right? Yeah, they put as loyalty to the fans. Mm -hmm. well, but they are a very family oriented club as well. well. It's been a great story all along, haven't they? The, 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 the perils they were in to where they are now. Is, yeah. it, is there not rumours of them moving to a different ground as well? The, ish and uh, there was, uh, yeah, I don't think there will be for next, uh, I think it's going to be redevelopment actually at, at their own ground. Mm -hmm. but we'll, don't ask me questions I don't know because he... Down to 11. I don't think they'd be worrying that much. Charlton's lead, uh, Manchester City, it's, it's, it's tight, I think we can safely say there at the top. Down to Wolves, who had that, uh, that great win. Down at the bottom. Here we go, there's where it's all about. West Brom, Crewe, Walsall, Port Vale, Swindon uh, adrift. 